Welcome back to our video series on the Play Framework using Scala. We continue working on our third version of the task list that uses JSON to communicate with Ajax back and forth between the, the client. And we had begun writing our validate. It still has a little bit of work to do, but we need to get to the point where we can call this validate from the client. If we can't call it, we will have problems. We have routes here. And just like our validate2 had been a validate in the uh, task list2, we're going to make a validate3 that uh, goes to the validate in task list3. We also probably need to look into our uh, version 3 main. All of these things have twos next to them. Uh, we now have a validate. We still don't have create user, delete, or add task. And so if we uncomment those, we're going to run into some problems here. Uh, but we can change the, uh, or if we change those, we won't. they won't compile. We should be able to change the validate at this point. And I am fond of just making sure that things run. And then we can address the question of what to do on the client side. Okay, we need to somehow call that validate. It needs to be a post request. And where does that go? Well, right now we have a version 2.js under JavaScript and it has some code in here that uh, worked with fetching things, but it was doing loads that were expecting, so for example, when they clicked login, it would get the username and the password, and it would use either a fetch or a jQuery, depending upon you know, the details of how you've written it, to take and replace the contents of, of some element with the things that were downloaded. And that is not what we're going to get here. Let's go ahead and let's create a new file. We'll call it version 3.js. And we can come over here and, oh, that is actually trying to load in version 3.js already. Oh, I haven't been doing this, but use strict. Really should get be more in the habit of typing that top of everything I write in JavaScript. Then again, I try not to just not write much in JavaScript. Okay, so we can actually pull in uh, both the CSRF token, the login route, the val well, we probably don't need all of these here. Um, we'll copy them. And then we'll edit them as need be. So we don't need that. There actually isn't a login route. There is a validate route. But paste and value. OK. I am making this version basically free of, of jQuery. So we will need to do the same type of thing paste for the CSRF token. And add route. OK. The code is already written so that when they click on the login button, it calls login. When they click on create user, it calls create user. Over here, we had login, which took those values out and could make a call using fetch to, to work with this. And the fetch that had been written was up here. We can borrow a lot of that code. So let's make a function called login. 
And as with our login here, we're going to want a username and a password. Okay, but I am going to, once again, get rid of the jQuery code. Okay. In case anyone's wondering, I use the VS Code Alt Shift, and if you move down or whatnot, it makes multiple cursors for you. There's also a Control D that will make multiple cursors. So I was just editing uh, several cursors uh, with several cursors at once, um, and then I want to run a fetch on this, and the fetch is much like what we have there. For the route, I want the validate route. We're going to do a post, uh, but I am not going to send this as URL form encoded. It's going to be JSON. Uh, it would actually be interesting to uh, test commenting that line out and seeing if this works without it. And then our data is actually going to be an object that has username and password as its two fields and using the structuring syntax in JavaScript if I just give the names of local variables it creates an object that has these strings for the keys and the values of the variables uh, as the variables okay and then we don't have a success here we need to decide what we're going to do with it once fetch returns. So fetch returns, and here I was getting the text out of it. It might actually be nice to take this as a JSON here. I'll call that data to fix this. And let's just do console.log of data. Okay, so as we saw, this page is already set up to call login when we get there. So calling login, once again, it will pull out those two fields, it will try to do a fetch, it will get the JSON for uh, the result, and then it will just print out that, and we can see what happens. So we refresh this. And I type in something. Uh, Uncotton promise, unexpected token less than in JSON at position one. So we tried to load something in, and the JSON that we got back was unhappy. Uh, we could try, let's actually first go to see, this is the code that is running it, check fail because JSON for request to validate. So this was running into a CSRF token issue. We probably haven't completely uh, dealt with the CSRF issues. We just copied some stuff over. We can to make sure we move forward a little bit, let's go ahead and turn off CSRF there. Just so that won't give us problems. Because when there is no CSRF, that is going to cause, we will get a different response. In fact, that's why it was a less than, because it actually gave us back some HTML, which is not valid for. Okay. Um, nope, we are still getting back a uh, validate three bad request. Okay, what is in our routes? Slash validate three. And port 9000. Okay, well, there is an issue here where it is not seeing that route. Uh, and we can come back and fix that and get this so that it is happily letting us log in in the next video.